Welcome back. In the previous video we added windows and doors to our project. In this video what we're going to be doing is looking at verticality. So we spread our building out nice and wide and what we're going to do now is to go high. So at the moment our building is a single story and if we wanted to we could add on additional stories in a couple of different ways. The first way would be to and actually what I should do at this point is add in our DXF file of our second story. So let's do that immediately. I'm not going to bother with the plane tool. And I see that I've loaded in my second DXF file. My first option is I can draw the rooms on top of the other ones and then set the plane above the previous. So if the plane was zero and we've added three meters, the second plane will be three. And again, three meter high room. I can draw this in. And keeping in custom, let me just name that immediately. It's going to be a bedroom. And actually, we're working on the first floor. First floor. And this is, I forgot to mention room numbers. We haven't been doing it through this project as it's only a small bedroom. Typically, when we do room numbers, we follow an architect's room scheme if there is one available otherwise try and have some sort of logical method of calling the rooms so that when you look at your results it is clear what results you know what result ties up to what room we might have another video looking at that a little bit later anyway regardless let's draw our room in so this is at the three meter point and let's see what's occurred we can see that we've drawn that room in. What we could do now is where we have all stories, we can see that IES has noticed there are horizontal planes at different levels. And we could change the drawing so it's only that layer, that three meter high layer now showing. If you see on the left, you can see that the tick boxes have disappeared from several. This indicates that they have no longer been shown. I can turn them back on, the tick box if I want, or I could change it down to the zero degree and zero meters, and there we go, and they back up. And then if I wanted to, I could quickly write, draw in the rest of the building. This was a bit more boxy than the other one. Just zooming in. And we can have a look at that in three dimensions. Again, I keep checking back in three dimensions as I find it helpful to see if you've done, made mistakes. And we can see here we've accidentally made mistakes. This kind of mistake is actually oddly significant within IES because what's happened is there's now a plane of exterior surface. So I'm going to quickly fix that. But instead of fixing it, what I'm going to do is show you another method for adding uh, or creating stories, which is particularly appropriate if you've got, I'm just gonna check what I haven't done there is, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. And this method is particularly appropriate if you've got a repeated floor going up. So I'm going to Turn the model to the right hand side, so plan, right, copy, and then using the copy selection tool, grab the bottom left corner and drop it up. And we can see now we've generated a two story building. Clearly, there's going to need to be some alterations made, but if you imagine, this can allow you to quickly create quite large buildings rather quickly. All right, I'm going to delete those off and go back to plan view and quickly sketch that room out one more time. 
this time I'm actually going to keep the ground floor on so I can make sure that my rooms line up correctly. I'm going to take this time now as well because I was doing that quite speedily. I'm now going to go through and rename the rooms. That's a bedroom, that's a bedroom, and that's a bedroom. I think I might give this one a little bit more of a specific name because it's smaller than the others. Now, while we're on the subject of verticality, I think it might be a good idea to note that we have a corridor on the ground floor and a corridor on the floor above. These spaces will have a staircase in them that links the two, and we can treat the two spaces as one. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge these two spaces together to treat them as a single entity. So I'm going to click the first one, and then I'm going to control click the second one and use the merge tool Sorry, I'm going to click the first one and then use the merge tool to connect by clicking on the other one. And I want to remove partitions because I believe that the thermal conditions within the space will be fairly homogeneous. And hit merge. And now we can see we have one space of two story height. This is not a critical step, but it's helpful for me to be able to show you this tool. In, and I'm going to wrap it up there. In between this video and the next video I'm going to add the glazing for the second floor and then in the next video we're going to talk about constructions and roofs.